for pretty much all the uh, the other teams that they've had to go against so far. And of course, the EU teams, they were easy. They 2 0 Liquid, they 2 0 Alliance. Now, how do you feel about this? Do you look at any sort of these core heroes and say this, this, this core is going to be able to take over the game? <sighs> Top lane. That's going to be the first blood. One more hit. Yabster will get it. He did not want to, you know, take it away from a Tumba man. Uh, bottom. Bottom lane. Zai. He's going to try and push them back, but he's trapped in with the Fisher. Thunder Predator. They'll get themselves a kill. Do I need a Snowball? Do I need the Shards? Probably going to be the Shards. And with the tag team, like, they're just destroying this top lane. This top lane is getting messy for Thunder Predator. Secret. And this trial lane just rolling over them. Two heroes attacking. If they went into the tower, like, pretty sure MNZ would die. They can go in again. He's just been kept so incredibly low. Yapsor, he's got the shards ready. Out they go, but they won't look to die. Bottom lane, Zai will go down again. Frank and Moos get the job done. Nisha might see a chance to jump back in on it. Top lane, Moos, the Fisher block off onto Yapsor. Oh, just the two of them here, they can't really find. They've got to be a bit careful, Moos. He wanted to go down for the bounty room, but of course his own Fisher stopped him from being able to get down there. He's now been trapped in the shards. As Yabso Matu turns towards him, the Jingu's build up as a boundless strike comes crashing down onto Moos. Moos is still running though, Matu. But he'll still get it. I he should believe. do. Yeah, there he's it is. fine. And they get the kill. Crystal off it to a good start, which he didn't really get. And then Keeper of the Light keeps stacking the jungle, one of the better heroes to stack with. But there are no stacks right now for Bristleback, so he's not going to be able to snowball Matu. He's jumping in. See bottom lane, Minos heads down to, to get the kill onto Zai. Top. It's another kill for Matu. It's 4 0 2 so far. On the Monkey King, a pretty explosive start for him. Yapsor, the Duke's here, will dodge the Crip Swarm. He has the stick, he can also snowball to the mid lane if needed, but uh, the Ghosts, there's, there's a huge difference. He's staying 2.5k gold ahead of him. That man's Minos, yes, taking a bit of a walk around here. Uh, they're ready and waiting for him. It's Minos. Static position five. He's also the hero that can't make any aggressive moves, so like Earthshaker needs to be that. Echo Slam does not want to pop in the arena. There's the jump. Straight away, they get themselves immediately on top of Leo style. He's gone. And by the looks of it, Moos is going to attempt for a TP out. But Yapsaw's in with a punch. There's a Tusk with the tag team around. Queen of Pain, Orchid. Up straight in onto the back lines. As MJZ gets taken down, Minos. Gonna try and Good turn. silence. They do have the silence. Do they have the damage? They it's don't. Only level one. Not quite in time. Nisha's going to the TPR moves. He'll put a stop to it. We'll manage to catch back Nisha. As Nisha is caught out by the Gale, they'll take down the Quap. So finally, Thunder Predator able to get a, a good kill. And with that, the space for Minos to farm up his Ancient Staff. Yeah, they can secure Bristleback's farm near the Ancients. Moose also needs to get a lane. See if they can get some sort of big jump with this. Meanwhile, Secret. on the bottom lane, Minos, he looks pretty dead. And three heroes going in on him. Oh, Sharp. the shard. Ooh, doesn't trap him. Minos, he's going to be able to walk away, and that, that's actually going to allow him to get back to safety. The rest of Thunder Predator are coming down in with the remainder of the smoke. Leo Style, let's start on a puppy, puppy. Pop of the glimmer. See MJZ bringing in Frank. Bellish strike from Matu comes down onto Leo Style. Matu, he's trying to get the ult going, but the silence is onto Matu. Matu, he's going to go down the once. Have we kill off Monkey King one time. Can they do it a second time? Minos Leo Style, the moves, looking to surround him. Deliver the Fisher out, jump forward for Nisha. The arena's down. Sonic Wave pushed them off the side, but Matu's gone. They take him down once again. Thunder the Predator. Now turn over towards Nisha. The silence out as well as the Crypt Swarm. Leo Style gets the double. Now, they're over chasing the side. Dual Scepter. They're going to get him as well. Okay. Puppy. Another Glimmer Cape. He can't do anything to save him. Zai also to fall here. Slowly but surely to the, to the Plague Wards. Thunder Predator. They're going to see Secret coming up onto their half of the map up top. And they want to do something about it. Secret, they have the four of them here. Moose. He's actually going to open things up straight away with the Echo Slam. He jumps in onto Matumba Man. They've got the Silence follow up. Leo Style's in with the Exorcism. The damage isn't going to be quite there. The Zai Spear will push back. Leo Style away from Matumba Man. And Zai and can will keep him alive. Trees. They'll turn around with a punch up onto Moose. They bring him down over to the side. Nisha nuke down Frank with the Sonic Wave. Nisha has now been silenced. So has to put the BKB to jump up to the high ground. Yapsor will catch MJZ with the Ice Shard. The O Style and Minos, if they got enough damage for Nisha, another blink out. Silence up in a second. Let's see if they can close the oh, gap he on this. We got him. Silence. Perfect timing. That was such nice done by Leo Style. They're pushing down top. They're pushing down mid. 
Secret's just kind of letting them do this. There's the top tier two gone. Thunder Predator, they're going to try and pressure the high ground. ground. They got the exorcism out. Secret's going to have to come back and do something about this. As Thunder Predator, Glyph th they're doing the fought. damage. They have the catapult on top of that. Venno starting to put down some wards. Smoke in the back lines. Slowly but surely taking this tier three tower. Sai's so going to jump up with the spear. Won't be able to latch on to Minos. As Minos, he's not going to get stunned. Stand his ground, keep on pushing on. Of course, he's got that Aegis. And that's not even going to be threatened if they can even take him down at once, but he's so beefy. That's a tier 3 tower already gone. They're going for the range barracks. They'll get the spear off onto Leo Star. See if they can blow Jeez. him down. Sonic Wave comes Can't get in. It off. He's down. And they're able to put a stop to the siege here from Thunder Predators. They take out the DP. Can they get more from this side? Trying with the setup, moves, jumps over the Echo Sam, focusing Only Matuba Man, but Matu's going to be fine. Matu forced into the action. Barrel strike down onto Moose, over to Frank. Secret, they'll push back Thunder Predator, Matu, he'll chase over towards MJZ, the Cottle will fall. It's Minos the only one able to get out of there, they got the tier 3. Thunder Predator, they're in. Solar Crest now on the Venomancer, range barracks gone. Over to the melee racks, see what Secret can do to stop this. It's Minos. Starting to, to stack up the goo. Prepare Secret for the fight, they do try and bring it to him. He's Getting away with just taking this melee wreck though, jumping with a spear. We'll get him straight pretty deep Can't. and with the kickback as well. He's right That's the in the base. That's the combo we were talking about. Let's see if they can blow him up here. It's Minos. He is going to go down the once. He's going to be back for round two on the back lines. Nietzsche comes in with a sonic wave. He's blown up moves. That's a BD quap. Minos, he's going to have to make his way around the ice shard. Coming down with a boundless strike. Yeah, so. Kick into the fountain. Let's go. Kick Minos. Is ready. See if they can quite finish him. I'm going to be able to kick Frank straight in. As Minos, he can't get out of this. The arena's trapping him in with the extra damage from the tag team. They'll bring him down. But no follow-up. They need Earthshaker. I mean, look at this wraparound for Secret Zion Puppy. Coming in from the other side of the river, Zai. He's able to jump over. He's able to close the gap on the moves. They've got the Glimmer Cape. Can they do anything to keep moves alive? Those sentries down. They see him. Moose trying to force over to the side, but straight into the wall of the arena. Moose goes down. Nisha has to blink away from Minos over in the river, Leo style. Being looked toward by both Matsu Extra and Puppy. But he's so slow, these monkeys are actually destroying oh. her. Silence comes out as well as the BKB. They're trying to fight Matsu inside the Wukong. See if they're able to do it. The Cypher's bringing Matsu down low. Minos trying to get back in the he's Sonic Wave. Feeling. Pushes him back. Minos up in the air. Matsu falling very low. They'll spear him back into the range of the Wukong's command. Battle strike down from the side as they bring down Minos. Frank, he's going for the TP out. He makes it away. Absolutely, on any of these heroes with inbuilt sort of lifesteal mechanics, it's pretty insane. It's mid. Zai. He's going to start things off onto Minos. The Wukong's command is down. Is there any way they can get him out of here? He's going to jump over to the side with the Abyssal Blade. Minos trying to run. Minotaur Horn pops. Sonic Wave will start to push him back a bit. Minos is still alive, but the battle strikes out. Leo Star heading in. Minos getting focused by Matuba Man. They'll lose the Bristle. Bristle's out. Now Leo Star's got to be careful. He's trying to retreat, but Matu's chasing off. Buys a bit of time for himself with the self fuels. Leo Star looks to turn. The glimmers out. Upon it moves. Echo. Jumps in with the echo. It brings Matu low, but it isn't enough to save Leo Star. Leo Star goes down. Matu gets the triple ultra kill and cottle and to Yato, fall as of well. Of course, KS in the end steals the rampage from the Monkey oh, King. No. Matu is not happy with that. This is it indeed. At least going to be the one set mid. Secret, Secret having a big window to take these objectives. Tier 2 that's still up top. Will be a little bit of a saving grace here for Thunder Predator. It's going to be able to take Roche down a little quicker than those ultimates are coming online. If someone tries to go in and like potentially steal the Roche or anything from it, Yasser can just kick him out. It's Matsu. He's finishing off Roche. And he'll be able to do so without any interruptions. Over to the side, Minos trying to go for Puppy. Got the dust out onto him, but now with the hex on Aminos, Minos has got to be careful. He's caught right in the center of the Wukong's command. There's the but the Monitor Horn trying to get out this die off the mark Keeping with the spear. Him the Wukong. But it's a lot of damage coming out from Matuma Man and too much for Minos to deal with. As the Bristleback falls. No buyback as well for 80 seconds. Jump over from Matuma the Man. They've he got the vision on Moose. Moose. He'll force up to the high ground, but Zai lays down the arena. Moose actually able to get the blink off. Get out. Still going to be found by the Palace Strike, and he will still fall. Matu. Claiming another life. There we go. Looking to looking to get onto the ancient, taking down the tier fours. As Frank tries to step forward. Nisha's gonna open up on him. Matu jumps over straight away. Yap, so he's gonna be able to kick him in deep. As he's separating Leo Star from the rest of his team. Leo Star's put the BKB, he's got the siphons going, trying to keep himself alive with the burst of the Sonic Wave. Pushes him over to the side. He's gonna put the exorcism, but the hex is there. He's caught in the Wukong's command. Leo Star's down. Jump over from Zai Arena over on towards Frank. Frank's caught. Well. Moves it down. GG, it's called.
a secret with the first game of themselves here at the Major. They'll turn up and they'll uh, certainly, certainly do it in this first game, getting an insane lead. Different lanes, yeah. like he just does not want to play into Batrider, that's all. No, absolutely, and I like this so far because they are expecting, obviously, Leo Star to take the Bat mid. They've given the Tangos over to, to Matu. They're going to try and put the Abaddon mid against the Bat. As he's fully prepared with the ones uh, straight up completed. We're going to see Thunder Predator try for a first blood here. They'll start heading up into the high ground of Secret. Won't quite be able to get the jump. And now with the tag team, Yaps are ready to turn. They're over to Moose and Secret. They'll be the ones to claim first blood for Zai. You know, the game is over. Game's over. Matsu's mid. And Leo, game he's done. I'm out. I'm out. Back to bottom. Back to bottom he goes. Down bottom. Hey, I've got the, the catch on to MJZ. See if Zai and Yaps will have the damage. Looks pretty dead to me. One more whirling death, and Zai will be able to finish off the, the job. Same time up top, Moose, Nisha, and Puppy have found him. Kills on both of the side lanes for Secret. Does not want to go in. Leo Style doesn't have too much region. That's a also does not have mana for stacks. Firefly. I'm rolling yeah. 10 stacks. I told you, he's losing the move speed. Like, he's moving at the 200 move speed because he went uh, to the mid and back multiple times. Tries to use a hook. Really Misses. Yeah. Oh, Centaur helping out there with a three-man stun. All right, the neutrals. Give me a bit of a helping hand there for Thunder Predator. Zai is going to go for the TP out, but Moose is actually able to get in and stop it. So now Zai dead and without a TP to return to a lane. They're still not done. Matu, once again, back to the bottom lane. He also has three points in Curse of Avernus. More see mid. slow. Frank coming in with the setup onto Yapsil. Minos not quite able to close the gap and start getting that slow going. Uh, putting pressure onto the tier one mid, TP over from uh, Marzina. It's going to take a long time here for Nisha. Frank, Frank trying to pop the, the Sprout to hold them back. It's attempting to get out of this, but Yapsil will be able to trap him off with the shards. Just battle fury. I mean, full melee, that's the, that's the cleave paying off then, you know? Full melee here isn't a fight. Oh yeah, you use um, Flame Break, like, push them all to one side, then cleave with the Life Stealer. Yeah, it can work. Top lane. See if Frank can get his way out of this. The arena's dropped down. Moose, he's going to roll in. Going to get the connection on to Nisha. Frank getting low. He's not going to be able to escape this. The arena trapping him, taking him out. Moose, he'll TP away though. Knows there's no further TP cancel between the two. Secret from the bottom side. Looking towards MJZ. They've got MNZ coming over. Ravage at the ready if they want to pop it. Silence out on MJZ. Minos looking towards Matsu. The borrowed time's out. Matsu able to commit. Take out the tide. That hand of Midas, other teams are probably going to be, well, man, Team Secret, they're, they're doing, doing it. it. They're buying uh, every... hand of Midas, so they're going to start a trend. No, absolutely. Every every team's carry is going to be like, guys, I'm, I want to buy Midas. If Matu's doing it, I'm going to do it, you know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more. I'm more, more worried about the people in the pubs. Frank, people in the pubs. Frank, got the, got the back on. Moose comes in, MJZ with a, a lovely four man ravage. The magnetized going out as well from Moose. It's quite a. A fair bit of damage coming out to Secret. Yaps on side, both getting low. Leo Star on top of the two of them with the Firefly. He'll get the double kill. Looks to knock back Nisha with the Flame Break. He's going to chase Last on already. forward. See if he can get the grab on Nisha. He can. Dragging back the Mars. They'll be able to set up for a third kill. Minos turning up as well as Nisha. will put the one charges. Try and push them back with the God's Rebuke. But the slow of the Ghoul Frenzy, it's too much. He can't run. Thunder Predator. They'll turn that attempt around from Secret. With the Rage, you don't care too much about it, true. But the overtime damage from the Baton, he's the tanky one. He's the one who stays in the team fight for such a long time. Silence. So he can't pop that ulti. So they can punish him after. Yeah, they're going to use the lasso as soon as the borrowed time comes out. Drag him away from the rest of his teammates. And it's a clean kill there from Thunder Predator. Smart moves as they know. Any time that the borrowed time's gone off, Leo Star will have no trouble finding the lasso. Thunder Predator, they're not even done yet. They're looking for Yapsa. Any TP cancel moves. He's in in time. Another kill for Thunder Predator as they start to move and get Minos involved. You know, scale that much, they're catching Leo style, okay. Get the Ravage. Back, Ravage is out! He's got the three of them and Minos, he's ready to go to work straight over towards Nisha. Nisha's got to run. A turn with the yours to hold back Minos, Zai. And a Sprout quickly cuts out with Whirling Death, looking over towards Moose, Moose low on the mana. Have Matu coming back into the game, heading over. Minos has got to be careful now. He's raging and he's running away. Moose, another roll out will separate him from Secret. In fact, he's even made it over towards the safety of his own high ground. Nice move from Moose will keep him out of any sort of harm's way. Secret won't be able to find him. But there should be a, maybe a bit of a window of opportunity for Thunder Predator to, to, to at least try and slow Secret down here. It's MJZ, he'll show his face first. 
trying to burst the tide. They are bringing him down as the Marina's going to get dropped. Spear off the mark, won't catch Neo Style. You have the snowball over towards Neo Style. They punch him up, they take down the bat. Minos is going to look towards Puppy first. It's Puppy. He's getting ticked down by the Magnetized, but the healing attendants will keep him up. As they've lost three, Minos and Moose having a bail as Moose is caught out too. Secret, they'll take down the four of them. As Thunder Predator try and step forward for the fight. With the Radiance, so you can't do what you did to the Baton last time around. Heading over towards Frank. Frank. does not have a BKB yet, so this should be a kill. He's going to try for the TP out, but yep, so he's in. Feel like you need to pop it instead of just waiting for Silence to end. But it's also about the farm, like Radiance, Manta style, and Matuba Man, he's hitting the high ground. Got to do something about this. A minute and 20 seconds left on the Aegis. Aggressive TP from MJZ. He ends up right underneath the nose of Matuba Man, and he's dead. Buyback not... is available. He might need to pop it and try to take a fight. He might need to. That teeping in under the tower, yeah, secret. They had no hesitation to just step up and kill him off as soon as he appeared. 25 minutes in, Team Secret hitting the oh, barracks. Minos going for a bit of a bit of the split push. Tier three tower actually almost done. Yeah, nearly done here by Minos alone. Secret starting to back off. Life Stealer is massive, but they're right now not fighting with him. Could still. Be a bit problematic. Puppy. Lasso. Let's try to lead the, the charge before anything happens. Ravage comes out from MJZ. He's caught the two of them. Turnover towards Nisha, but Nisha's got the BKB. Good to go. Looks for the catch. The setup onto Leo Style. He's got it. Arena straight into the spear. Pinning Leo Style to the wall. He goes down. Frank's going for the BKB. TP Punch. out. He'll make it away. Yep, so not quite able to get in range in time. We need to get rid of him. Like, we don't have enough to kill him, but we can kill the rest. Just kite the life stealer. On the side, Leo Style. He's got to put the BKB, but Matthew's able to find the bash. Yep, so jumps over. Leo Style, he needs help and he needs it now. The heal comes out from Minos as he jumps in, jumps out. Keeps Leo Style fine to move on. Minos is on the run over in the river. They'll trap both the two of them. Matthew getting low, but he pops the Matthew. Oh, the, the BKB's out from Frank, but the bash is indeed from Matthew, leaving no opportunity to Frank to escape. As Frank goes down, Nisha on the side catches both the two of them. Leo Style and, and MJZ inside the arena. They also found Moose. That's a Poor man. I gotta call it a team wipe. Silence, plus a bash. Oh, he needs help, Minos. He's gonna get the chance to put the rage. Big damage coming in from Zai, though, as he cuts across, just destroys the Earth Spirit. And now with the, the shards into the spear, they've managed to catch out Minos. That was such a nice execution there. Like, Lifestealer, he's like, I can man up against a Baton, but the, those four hits, he gets silenced, doesn't have anything to dispel it with. Oh, what is so much damage. Now, no Nisha. need to ravage once again. They also have Matu inside their base, so they need to be careful. Sprout around the barracks. Not sure why that's still a thing. Why are they onto Frank? Bashes are there, Frank's gone. Just diving in, and now they'll have the, the chance to go for the Rex here, Secret Minos. He's going to try and force some of the back. Zion Puppy, they are here to try and deal with the two of them. Minos is trying to get on top of the target, but can't get on top of Zai. Zai just continues to push back MJZ. Nisha and the Matu, they're not stopping. They're the going to keep gonna going. Go They've got the back of the Moose. They might actually have a chance to kill it off Zai here. Zai's popped the Lotus Orb. Minos trying to stay on target, but Zai, he's away. Zips out with the Timber Gentlemen, Chain. Gentlemen, they're killing your base. You need to do something about it. Puppy, and he's just been the distraction right now. Keep it the three of them. Prioritized up on the top. They do kill Puppy. As you say, that the bottom lane's gone. Matu and Nisha, they've taken the mid tier three. Zai just creating pure space right now. As Thunder Predator, they're still going for it. You know, they've committed. They want to get him. But it's a, it's a lot of time, Zygon, a lot of space. Creating space, creating universe. Like, they, they got the melee barracks on the mid lane. Like, Thunder Predator, they're making a huge mistake chasing there, only getting. Like, even if they get a kill. I don't think they have How do they kill him? Yeah, I, I how don't do think they, they have him? anything against him right now. Still, minute and 15 seconds left on Aegis. Oh, playing Sid. Straight up deleted. You gotta be careful how close you get to Matsu. You get in range of that Abyssal like Leo Star did just there, and you are gone. As Leo Star does have buyback. Secret. Now look at the claim that third final set of barracks hit. They start the push up top. There's the buyback from Leo Star. Are they going to be able to stop themselves from being megaed? Minos wrapping around for the back. Matu is just moving in onto Frank. Moose will kick Matu in a bit deeper. Nisha, Puppy coming in with a push. Minos, he's looking towards Puppy on the back. Moose will be able to get over to him. They're trying to Rabbit. take it down. Ravage from MJZ. Hits catches four. the three of them. 
And also Puppy at the back. Puppy falls. The, can they get anything else? Minos, who's his next target going to be? He's going to head towards Nisha, but they've lost MJZ. MJZ with the buyback. So ball over towards Moose. Moose able to roll away in time. Minos, he needs help. He's got the rage. They also lost all the barracks, so they're going to play against the Mega Creep. Oh, Leo style. Nisha jumping in. He pulled back for this. Leo style's got to run. Arena ready. BKB. Line. There's no way he's getting out of this one. Now Yapsaw's in. That'll be Leo style dead for 90. Over towards the mid, Minos and MJZ. They're trying to deal with Matumba Man. That's almost impossible. The Aegis will time out, but he still has to one borrow time. One man army with the flamethrower oh, spinning the around. And kicked over to the side. Minos is still caught, though. Nisha's in. Catches him in the arena. Minos is down. He's got a buyback, and he's going to have to need to use it if they want to try for another fight. But of course, that's going to make the, the Divine Rapier nothing more than a dream with the amount of gold he's going to have to spend to get back in. Mega Creeps are approaching the base. Abaddon hitting on the tower. Nisha with the Aghanim Scepter. And I love that. It feels like this spell does not belong in Dota, but uh, it does. It's there. Oh, and Yapsaw, he's going to be able to kick Frank outside of the fountain. Comes in, kicks him out. Minos trying to step over towards him, but Frank getting bashed up by Matumba Man. They take him down. Matthew turning over towards Minos. Moose comes over with the roll. They'll kick Minos back into the fountain. Yapsaw having a bit of fun here as Moose gets left outside. GG is called Secret. We'll take game two, the series. It's.